Hey, how's it going everyone? In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up Fusion for the Quest version of Bone Lab. But before we start, I'm going to assume that you have already modded your game with Lemon Loader before you've even clicked on this video. If you haven't done that yet, I recommend that you check out Lop's video on how to set it up. The link to it will be the first one in the description. Now with that out of the way, let's get on to the tutorial. The first thing that you're going to want to do is open up Bone Lab, wait for everything to load, then open the menu, go to Preferences, Bone Menu, and then Thunderstorm Mod Assistant. Once you're into the Assistant, you're going to search for Fusion, then once you find it, you'll click on it and then press Install. Once it says Restart Required on top of the Assistant, you're going to want to close out of Bone Lab until you need to open it again later on. Alright, now it's time to set up Steam. Before we do this, you will need an account and a Steam app installed in order to continue. So if you haven't done that yet, you should do it now. Once you have that done, we will then go and search for Steam VR. Once you see it, click on it. Now, you don't need to install Steam VR at all for this to work, it just needs to be added to your library. So click on Add to Library and then Minimize Steam. Click the GitHub link in the description and then you should be brought to the Fusion Helper GitHub page. Once you're there, go to Releases on the right side of the screen and click on it. And then you're going to want to download the zip that's made for your computer's operating system. Since my computer has Windows, I'm going to download the zip with Win in it. Once the file is downloaded, you're going to want to open it and then make a new folder in your desktop. You can use whatever you want, but I'm just going to name it Fusion Helper. Once you name it, go to the previous folder with all the Fusion Helper's files in it, and then press Ctrl plus A, so it highlights every file, and then press Ctrl V in the new folder that you made, and it should move everything into that one. Now, open the new folder and scroll down until you find FusionHelper.exe. Run the application, and a firewall prompt should appear. Now listen to me carefully. What you're going to want to do here is press Show More, then check Private Networks, and then press Allow. With Fusion Helper open, you're now going to turn on your quest and open Bone Lab. When you do open Bone Lab, Fusion Helper should automatically pick up your quest on your Wi-Fi network, and then you should be good to go and ready to play in Fusion Lobbies. Alright, if everything is working for you, then you're free to skip this time code on screen now. But if you're experiencing some issues, then there's something that you can do to potentially fix this. What you're going to want to do is go to the last link in the description, and it should bring you to the .NET SDK's website. Here you're going to want to go to .NET 9.0, and under Runtime, and then in brackets Windows, press X64, and a download should then start. Once it's finished downloading, you're going to open the installer, press Install, and then let it do its thing. Once that's done, you should try to open Fusion Helper again, and it should finally work for you afterwards. And if it doesn't work for you afterwards, then I'm sorry for your loss, and you're just shit out of luck, honestly. Alright, you did it. Fusion is now fully set up, and you're now ready to do whatever it is you do in Fusion. Before you go, I just want to add this. You will need to have your computer on and with both Steam and Fusion Helper open every time you want to play Fusion. I'm just saying this now because some people might be confused as to why they can't start or enter a server and then proceed to leave a comment on the video asking me why I won't let them do anything Fusion related. If this helped you out, then you should like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future. Anyways, I'm TOG, and I'll see you again later.